At the core of Lightning is massive scaling via multiple GPUs, which we'll show you how to do in this video. GPUs are graphical processing units originally designed for gaming, but it turns out that they're really good at matrix multiplication for deep learning. GPUs can give you easily over 100x speedups over CPU training. Lightning modules are hardware agnostic, which means it can run on CPUs or GPUs without you changing your code. But to get that behavior, we have to first develop good habits. The first one is take all your .cuda and .2 calls and delete them. Second, when you initialize any tensor during your training, make sure to put it directly on the device by setting device equals self.device, where self.device is a property of the Lightning module. Every Lightning module knows what device it's on. A second way to put your tensors on GPUs directly is to use type pass or initialize them as buffers. Let's say that you have a machine with eight GPUs. Lightning lets you train on one, four, or eight of those GPUs. You can set the flag GPUs equals to one to train on one of them, or you can set it to four to train on four of them, or you can set it to eight to use all eight of them. If you want to specify the GPUs directly, you can pass in a list of indices mapping to the PCI ordering of those GPUs. So for example, if you want to train on the first and last GPU of a four GPU machine, you can pass in 0, 3, and it will do multi-GPU training on those two GPUs. If you want to use all the GPUs available, you can just set the flag GPUs equals negative 1.